I really can't believe I'm going to do a video like this. So this is a video about Sven Botman who hasn't signed for Newcastle United yet. But by all accounts from two leading journalists, Luke Edwards from The Telegraph and Fabrizio Romano, the leading Italian journalist, a uh, fee uh, has been agreed between Newcastle United and Lille, believed to be in the region of 37 million euros, about 30, sorry, just over 30 million pound plus add-ons for the sale of Sven Botman to Newcastle United. And by all accounts, personal terms have been agreed. He wants to come to the club and a medical has been booked in for next week. So I can't believe I'm going to say this. I never thought I would, but this looks like it's a done deal. So in this video, I'm going to explain five things why I think we should be really excited about the signing of Sven Botman. It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie from Tyneside Life and today I'm filming at the Helix Sector in Newcastle City Centre. It's uh, in St James's Park, it's about 100 metres that way. This place used to be called Science City. I didn't know much about the place so I'm here today you know, putting a video together and with, with me full production crew. What was that? Hair and makeup in five? Just give us a minute. So yeah. I'm putting a video together so that uh, you understand exactly what's going on in this particular area. It's a fascinating place to visit. So if you want to get a notification when I release this video, you know what to do. Anyway, back to Sven Butman and who exactly is he? Well, he's uh, a 22 year old, six foot five inch, cent left footed centre half. Um, and he's from the Netherlands. Uh, he's played for the Dutch under 21s. So he's born and raised at the southwest of Amsterdam and he joined his boyhood club Ajax when he was nine years old. So he's went through their full academy system for about 11 years before joining Lille two years ago for about 8 million euros. And in his first season with Lille, he helped them uh, win the first division title in the French League. Sven Botman is regarded as one of the hottest new properties in European football. There's been a host of big clubs following him, in particular Newcastle United obviously, but AC Milan as well. So we were kind of battling with AC Milan for his signature, but AC Milan pulled out when they couldn't meet the asking price that Lille were putting on him. Now the Lille uh, sporting director, Luis Campos, he's renowned for bringing in and nurturing these uh, young talented players with um, with potential and then selling them on two or three uh, years later for huge profits and it looks like he's done exactly the same with Sven Botman. He's been playing hardball with Newcastle United trying to milk as much as he could out of Newcastle United obviously with this tune tax going on but by all accounts the Newcastle owners have stood firm. They've been playing hardball as well and they've said uh, by all accounts that um, look if you're not going to sell them, we're going to look elsewhere. And I think that's been the point where Lille have kind of backed down and sold them or going to sell them for 37 million euros. Now, we've been after Sven Botman since January, but obviously then the timing wasn't quite right. But it looks like now in the summer transfer window, he's seen more sense and he's on his way. And it looks like we've landed a massive talent. So I've been analysing Sven Botman to see what sort of footballer he is, what sort of person he is but also looking at his scouting report, which was published about February this year. And I've put together five things why I think this is uh, an excellent deal for us and why we should be really excited. So let's take a look at them. So number one is his physical attributes. The lad is six foot five inches tall. He's got broad shoulders and long limbs. He strikes an intimidating present on the pitch. He towers almost ever over everybody and has a superb, a superb in aerial duels, with his success rate being about 73, 74%, which is really high. But he also tracks the ball superbly when it's in the air. And in addition to his, his positional sense, makes him an intimidating, intimidating player on the pitch. And for other players that find it really difficult playing against him. Number two, because he spent 11 years with the Ajax Academy, he's turned into a footballer with excellent technical ability he's comfortable and confident in possession consequently he can receive and distribute the ball effortlessly with either foot that's going to make him a real asset for newcastle united when we're under pressure we've got a cool head with this excellent technical ability just to receive the ball 
keep it down, look up and just crisply pass it to somebody else like Kieran Trippier. Number three, he likes to drift forward into midfield. And when he does that, he kind of creates an overload, both as a passer and a receiver. So he's always looking for crisp, short passes to assist more uh, players who are in more advanced positions. That's going to do us really well, especially when he's playing in the type of midfield that we're starting to develop with Joe Linton and Bruno. Number four, he's going to help turn us into a formidable defence. So we've got Nick Pope, who's just signed. I thought he was six foot three when I done all, done all my Google searches. He's not. He's six foot six. And then we've got Dan Byrne, who's six foot seven. And of course, we've got Sven Botman, who's six foot five. Now, I should mention that, of course, Dan Byrne is a left footed centre half, but so is Sven Botman. But Sven Botman is comfortable with either foot. So, but he's going to slot in, I think, nicely on the right hand side. So, I don't think teams are going to be coming to Newcastle thinking they can do one over on us through some sort of set piece. We're going to be really quite intimidating in defensive positions with the ball in the air. And that's, I think that's, I can't remember Newcastle United having such a, on paper anyway, such a, a competent looking defence. I think on paper, I think we're going to have one of the best defences in the Premier League next season. Number five, he's 22 years old. He's still young. He's still developing. And clearly he's being groomed for the full Dutch national squad. Over the next few years, as Newcastle United develop and get better, uh, he's going to become outstanding when he gets into the full Dutch squad, when he's playing international football, when Newcastle start getting into Europe and start playing better teams. That's only going to improve him as a player and it's going to benefit Newcastle United. Now, there are some weak points to his game at the minute. Um, by all accounts, because of his height and his size, he can be turned quite easily. He's a bit slow, so we might struggle once or twice if we're playing kind of uh, technically gifted and kind of nippy fast forwards and if he finds himself if he's had to drift onto one of the flanks he can be a little bit flat footed and if his positional sense isn't quite right at the time he can get a little bit flustered but I think we need to be patient with him um, because he's got like I say he's still young he needs to develop and I think Eddie Howe and Dan Ashworth and the rest of the coaching team are the right people to make him an even better player than what he is right now so there you go Sven Botman God, I hope he signs because uh, I'm going to look like an idiot with this video. But I am really excited about this particular signing. It just sends out a massive statement to the rest of the Premier League and over the next two or three years to the rest of European football. But let me know what you think about the signing of Sven Botman. Do you like him? Have you got any concerns? But also, who do you think our next signing is going to be? Because I've got no idea. I think I I think that, that deal for me is gone. And uh, all things considered, I don't even want him to join Newcastle United now. But let me know what you think. In any way, I'm going to crack on. I've got to do more video in round here at the Helix sector. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified the next time I release an, uh, a new video. Don't forget to leave some comments and questions below as well. So until next time, catch you later.